Hey guys, so I know this is a bit of a different kind of intro. The normal one's gonna come, don't worry about it. But like, I just wanted to hop in here to let you know that many of the music videos that are in this Catching Up on K-pop actually had the whole reaction blocked. I wish we knew every time which one has been affected and everything. So yeah, just wanted to let you know that unfortunately because of that, many of the reactions in here will be modified like extremely, which probably isn't going to make it a very pleasant viewing experience, which is why you'll find in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment, the link to my Dropbox where you'll be able to find the unedited version of this video. And unfortunately, this is like the only <laughs> solution that I have found so far that kind of works if you want. I know it sucks so bad and I really hope that it's not going to hinder your, your viewing experience too, too much. But that's the reality of YouTube, you know, in the copyright system and stuff. So with that said, let's get back to the original video now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for this month catching up on K-pop. And let me start by saying that I don't know where I got the confidence from when I decided that doing another mega catching up on K-pop was a good idea. But as you maybe can tell, I am very hyper right now. I've got enough caffeine in my blood to probably fuel me for another two days. So best believe I will be taking advantage of this. Also today apparently is the first day of spring, which I know sounds completely wrong if you're watching on YouTube because usually the catching up on YouTube when they are being released, they are being released like much later compared to when I actually filmed the video and compared to when the patrons get to see the video. So each month the patrons from the second and third tier get access to the video like ahead of time. This is my little blog, by the way. Not only do they get like an early access, they also have the possibility to pick and choose, vote basically. Uh, yeah, vote is a better word for the music videos that they'd like me to react to in the Catching Up on K-pop. So most of the lineup from today's video has been chosen and voted by the patrons. I personally have added a few pics of mine in there as well. Namely, oh yeah, by the way, uh, okay, parenthesis, because I see it right now. I have said recently on the community tab that I have been kind of like branching out a bit and trying to discover new music. I have recently started watching BLs thanks to a friend of mine. And so naturally my For You page over on Instagram has started, you know, the videos have started popping up and I stumbled upon this song because the actors are doing the challenge to this song. This is such an ungodly song. <laughs> no, don't be surprised. Anyways. I told you, this song is ungodly, but it is so good and I have listened to it like an uncountable amount of time. I'm just gonna close that window, just, yeah. So yeah, I have personally added to the lineup Ace, BB also, as well as you as music video. The rest has been chosen by the patrons. Oh, so since I'm here already, hold on. I have said already during the last catching up on K-pop that I'm currently watching Build Up over on my Patreon as well as exclusive content this time. So I have been checking the full episode every week. I'm not gonna tell you my, my top four because it's gonna break my heart, but well, you could guess. Honestly, if you know me a little bit, you could guess. If you are not watching Build Up, what are you doing? If you're afraid by the fact that this is an Mnet produced show, please don't be. Like, honestly, I haven't had such a good time watching a, an Mnet show in such a long time. The performances that are coming out of this show my god, just mind-blowing. Like some of these are legendary and yet can't believe that this show is not gaining more tractions or whatever because what, why? So let me just, why am I not surprised that this is the most re-watched uh, part of the performance? Hmm. <laughs> we are all human, okay? <laughs> so yeah, Kongun of Ice. Uh, we also have Ung in here of uh, AB6. We also have Bae in here and we have Tae which to me is the long lost brother of San from 80s. You guys, they could be brothers. Oh my god. I'm a married woman. I am not. But in my Delulu mind, I am completely married to Tu Dong Un and Te Teop. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna shut up and then we're gonna listen to this together. <laughs> I can walk like this, talk like this, play like this, oh no 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 
my point exactly what are you doing if you're not watching build up what are you doing i'm so annoying i'm sorry <laughs> all that to say that uh yeah go and support right to go back to ace i see that i saw that they're going on a us tour i am manifesting them coming to europe as well because ace is probably gonna remain for a very long time amongst other groups of, of course one of the most underrated k-pop group ever so yes i am really really hoping that they would announce a Europe tour soon, hopefully. I've also seen that there's an English version of this, but I'm gonna check this first. Let's go. Was it always like that? <sighs> oh, it's been a while to be fair, so. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. I want a cat. We are professional. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, I would trust them. Would, would I? Um, that's an awkward smile, baby. Is this probably the coolest music video? Most probably. Hey! Ew, they're disgusting. Dude, the music video is incredible. Ah! No! More and more tired. You tell me. like someone when they're doing something so corny like acting like this and you still love them <laughs> hey <sighs> the drone shot are making me dizzy i'm not gonna lie but yeah You guys, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, yeah, so you do you look like an angel, but what the hell?
Amateurs, okay. Charlie Chaplin, hey. Eh? Listen, like I said, you know you really like someone when, even if they're doing something corny like this, like aka here acting so quirky and stuff, which I'm not even gonna like, that was kind of cute. Like that is really cute, not even kinda. This is, this is really, really cute. You're weak to someone when they're doing something like this and you still manage to find them lovable, whatever. Not only does it put a smile on your face because they're acting the, like the way they are, right? But the song also, I think I would even say like, this is kind of like the male counterpart and more mature and humorous version of Cupid by 5050, for example. I think it's kind of got that same almost theatrical quality to it. Very airy, very sweet. I think this is spring embodied in a song. This kind of like milder stuff that they're putting out reminds me a little bit of like Haya or like Never got a party. If you know, you know. If I'm trying to remember all of the music you know, this is by far the coolest. Not interactive, but it almost feels like this. The more you look at it, the more you discover this whole thing was a blast from the intro to the outro. So yeah, it's safe to say that I really like it. I think I'm just gonna keep the glasses. Might as well. Okay, next music video is BB's music video. Let's go. Songs in English? Like but uh, yeah, don't touch. Don't try to get handsy. Yeah, shoot, can rush. Yeah, I got cake, baby, I got dough. <laughs> Bet you never had a bitch, you had both. Mm, and if you try to get close, I'll bang, 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 bang. Sweet like lemonade, smooth like butter. Won't give it up, oh no, sucker. <laughs> shots, baby, duck and take cover. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, mate, that don't make them like this no more. This and gum sit at the same table. Understand everything she means. To be fair, though, what she's saying when she says we they don't make it like her anymore. Hey, not more. Not many would. Not many would dare to do this, okay? Don't try to get handsy. You get a sugar rush. Oh, her voice. Oh. oh, she's beautiful. Homemade is what she said. Oh, so Yuna and Soyan, huh? <laughs> I know that they have history. For Yina's debut, BB featured on the track. Oh, BB and Soyeon worked on the... Um, that song! I can't remember the title right now, but like, they had a collab. You guys know that I love me some cameo. These are also what I would consider like Easter eggs, because regardless of whether you know of the history or not, you will just be excited to see them on screen together. I'm not so surprised about seeing... But knowing that, you know, Soyeon could appear in a music video with such lyrics. However, Yina being there... It's a little bit of a surprise, I'm not gonna lie. Like, did her company know that this this is the song that she would be appearing on? Like, but me understanding what she's trying to say, does that mean that I'm fluent in, like, naughty lyrics? Like, what the f- I know that I have been listening to Low Key by BM a lot. I guess my brain has- <laughs> I guess I'm too old now to pretend that, I, that my brain hasn't been altered to, to some degree, so... Yeah, I own it. <laughs> Sugar Rush, that was fun. I one thing that I love with BB is her- ability to 
make a song so multi-dimensional. The ability that she has of like transforming his, her voice to fit a certain concept, give herself a whole entire different personality and persona when she sings is insane. Comparing this song to the other song that she has released almost at the same time, how could you even imagine that these were the same people? Because that almost makes me wonder, if I didn't know who BB was, would I even have noticed that these two were the same people? I'm honestly not sure. And I guess that speaks on her range. Like I said, I think this and Gum by Jessie would kind of sit at the same table. Not that they sound alike or whatever. It's just there aren't that many women, like you know, female artists in the game right now who would dare to do such a concept with such lyrics and everything. It's not for everyone. And you know, Twitch, their own is fine and everything, but I think it's so refreshing to have these kind of music videos and songs with such lyrics done by female artists who have been recognized by the mainstream media, if you want, because it's so unusual. I feel like I want to listen to this when I put makeup on. When you need a song to hype you up and to, f to make you feel like the bad that you are. Don't try to get handsy. Yeah, I, got cake, baby, I, got dough. I can see myself. Not that I do. It's not even that I have one or the other. I like, don't even try. You get no option here. You know, nowadays it's all about living in the Delulu world. I can easily see myself, you know, putting on my blush and everything and listening to this and lip syncing to this and feeling myself. I really, okay. I don't know. I, I usually am a pretty easy person to to uh to please music wise you know i have a good feeling about this video i feel like i'm gonna like everything not gonna lie which wouldn't be a first time in city wish now which i'm gonna have to pull up their profile because i have heard of things from them well obviously they are an in city unit the sixth unit of the brew group and the last if i'm not mistaken like i'm pretty certain that after this one there is no more NCD. like the the whole like forever expanding concept no more and yeah they were formed through the survival show Okay, so initially I was under the impression that the whole lineup was made out of uh, Japanese members, which I think I thought the same for a team, but it's not the case. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. As much as I am quite familiar with NCT and its units and everything, this particular unit, NCT Wish, I have no prior knowledge of. I haven't watched any single episode of the survival program. And to be even more honest, I didn't even know there was a survival program. I did see though that they have gotten their first win and I have decided to react to the Korean version, but if I'm not mistaken, there is a Japanese version. Please feel free to correct me or like give me more information if you'd like, because I'm kind of like... Je rame. C'est en français ça. Comment tu dis en anglais? I am struggling. All right, so without any further ado, well, Wish, let's go. Are you wise driving? Oh, he's an angel, maybe? I fell from the sky. Oh, literally. <laughs> oh, he's giving Peter Pan, kind of. You know, he does look like Peter Pan, no? You're gonna be alright. Cupid. Oh. Oh, it's a Cupid, okay. I'm still waiting for my arrow. I haven't been hit yet. Where is this? Not gonna have this problem. I do hear and see in this. My kiss. Is that the jump? Europe, right there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't love our planet, it's dying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do hear in here. If I had any doubt before. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Peace, baby. Oh my god. Wow. NCT Wish filming location. Ah! Mac and Peace kind of 
Yeah. But I guess it's just a cherubin. How do an angel. It's just an angel. It's cute. It's adorable. It's a really nice concept, the whole Cupid thing. It's humorous. It's it's very really sweet. It's not the type of song that I would see myself reaching for necessarily. Like I said though, if I had any doubt that this was an N City unit, that doubt has been <laughs> completely destroyed because the beginning is very in city dream and there's parts of this that also kind of feel like touch by n city 17 for example i guess this unit being introduced as an n city unit in a way that is very different from the other units prior to that and also quite far away from the rest of the units. I guess the hardest part is for them to really exist as themselves you know as entity wish and also to have their names being recognized and heard and so i think it's very smart for them to come up with a song this called wish and for them to also in within the song say we are in city wish this is what we're about and everything this is really smart and also playing into the whole idea of wish and everything i really like how they, they keep on like repeating it as if it was a chant like any magic or spell or whatever you have to say the chant before it actually like happening so i really like it as well also i think it's pretty funny and ironic how k-pop labels love to film music videos in Europe, but rarely step foot in Europe for any other kind of concerts or tour. I think this should be studied. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Europe has very, very beautiful places. Switzerland, by the way, is also very beautiful. And I'm not saying this because I live in Switzerland. Oh yeah, I definitely am. But Switzerland is beautiful. So whenever you want, give me a call and I'll let you know the pretty places in Switzerland because I don't know them, I don't come out of my house. But, you know, just saying, it'd be nice if they could consider Europe. Uh, and I know we have less to complain about than other places in the world. I get it, I promise you. Okay. <laughs> because I am online and everything, I have heard of the chorus even before filming my uh, reaction to the album, which is on Patreon, by the way, as exclusive content if you are interested. Even before filming for my uh, album reaction, I had heard of the chorus because it was everywhere. Well, I think smart, the challenge and everything, was something that felt very organic and that is something I also touched on uh, in my reaction, album reaction. People got obsessed with smart during the showcase and then because people got so obsessed with it, they started doing their own challenge on social media. So it felt really, really organic, like the way it grew, you know, and it gained traction and everything. I thought that was really interesting to watch. And I've also seen many people say that they wished smart was actually the title track for this comeback instead of easy which to me you know i would have been happy in both cases i really really love easy and it's been doing really well with charts as well so i guess at some point easy started to grow on people so yeah that was just me telling you that i know this song i just haven't checked out the uh, music video i am so out of breath why i am getting old oh my god i know everyone and their mother are currently wearing specs which hello but they look so 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 good with those glasses on i probably could never pull off such glasses such frames or, or lack thereof but oh my god it looks so good on her anyways let's go Also, for full disclosure, I haven't listened to this baby, like daily. This. <laughs> this part, everyone in the mother too is obsessed with this. Rightfully so. You yeah. are. I just hope her knees didn't get burned by the carpet. When I heard this song in its entirety, I was like, They look so good! Oh. I was like, This song sounds like tropical. You know, it smells like, like heat. I was like, If this was a fruit, this would be passion fruit. Why are they not a beach? I'm just imagining my head. Wow, wow. Okay. Yes, recycle, but no, that is not recycle, that is trash, I'm sorry. Huh? Next to the flowers? Okay, whatever. Like, there's a reason why everyone's obsessed with it, and uh, 
It, and it really, rightfully so. This is a really, really catchy song. And so the first time I listened to the, the whole song, right, I was like, this feels like I'm waking up on an island. You know, on the on the beach and everything, you've got sand uh, on your body, and it's just, you know, that heat and, and that breeze from, from the sea. It just felt so good. It really felt like waking up from a nap on an island like a tropical island or whatever and to me if this were a fruit this would be passion fruit but also i said if i remember correctly in my reaction i said that this would be kind of like a, a caramel passion fruit infused into it and i was like ah you know what i mean it's kind of like caramel because it sticks to you is what i explained and i'm honestly really happy with this description so i'm using it again here <laughs> but yeah i'm also bringing up the whole island thingy because i really thought that they would Kind of go also with like with the way they're dressed here you know i really thought they would go i don't know on a beach and again i don't know if this was recorded after easy on well probably i wonder if hype saw how well it did online and then they decided to record a video for this because if that's the case i guess it makes a window during which they could film uh, quite smaller, which makes sense. Anyway, so the song, the music video, the, the outfits are beautiful, they are gorgeous and everything, but the music video, I think I was expecting more sunshine, maybe, but it's fine. It's not like a music video that I'm gonna go back to to watch, you know, I'm gonna go back to it to listen to it, but other than that, I'm probably not gonna be re-watching it just for the sake of it, you know? Next up, we've got Highlight with Body, which came out not so, so long ago. How oh, wonderful English captions are on, let's go. It's been a while, it's been... A little minute since I've seen them. What is it with like older K pop groups acting like the this? Video. Again, like manners make it the men or whatever. Hey. <laughs> I'll be back to a more fun K-pop nowadays. Because if that's the case, sign me the fuck up. Hey. <laughs> I'm not judging. I would probably be doing the same. Hey. me want to I'm gonna add this to my playlist when I work out like this is motivation oh <laughs> this is 
motivational. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, that is a really nice transition right there. Did you see? We were stuck in an elevator and boom, now we're in an elevator. I'm so annoying. I am so sorry. You what? I don't know if it's because groups like Ace and Highlight have been in the game for such a long time that they kind of like don't care anymore and they are just being quirky, uh, uh, corny, but like corny in a humorous way, you know, being their comedic self, you know, Highlight is a very funny group, you know, they've always been. They don't feel the need to act cool, if that makes sense. They are done proving themselves, like it's, it's done, you know, like we know who they are, we know what they're capable of, and now they can just freely do music that feels good to them and to us. So again, them being so quirky, corny and everything in here makes me enjoy the music video so much more. I'm kind of like wanting to match their energy. The song is fun. Again, like th this is pretty straight to the point, fun in capital letters. Also, like I said, it's motivational because they're like, shake your body and you're like, say no more. <laughs> I do feel like because of how like hyper it is, it feels it would be a really good addition to any workout playlist. It's a no-brainer. Really, it's fun. I'm here for it. Moving on, we've got You Are with Rooftop. So initially, this song wasn't in the uh, songs that I have picked, and it wasn't the poll either on, on Patreon. I decided to add it later on I watched the teaser for this, and this took me back. Like, this really felt like a 2000 kind of song. I don't know, it gave me diva kind of vibes, and I was like, I need to check this out. The only unfortunate thing so far that I can say is that it is quite a short song and I know that I never pretended to be okay with this idea of like songs that are under three minutes but it's starting to get really old. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that songs that are shorter than three minutes are trash. All I'm saying is that I hope, even though it's too late already, that this is not going to be the new normal because please. I just hope that when K-pop grows older, uh, they'll be like, this was a phase, you know? <laughs> there aren't any English captions but we'll do without. I am telling you. Oh, this is hot. Diva. Mm. Mm. Diva. D -E. No. I. Is that a Ferrari? What is that? I'm getting closer. Eh? <laughs> you guys! <laughs> this is giving Krishna Aguilera. Let me say it right now. Right now. Oh. This is the best song. Doing the most. Nah, this is... She's embodying... 2000 Diva right there. Ah. 
you know, like Britney Spears, for example, the, the whole building thing, also when she falls from that building, from that said building, it reminded me so much of that Break the Ice music video, for example, which I love. I absolutely love that song. The chorus gives like a little bit of like, what is it? Uh, Christina Aguilar Dirty, for example, Dirty Era, kind of. Like I said, she's really giving diva in here and she's embodying that energy and is doing everything for her. I enjoyed how her debut song sounded, Voyage, right? I enjoyed how it sounded, but I wasn't a particular like, fan of it. The first comeback was debatable. For some people, some, some really enjoyed it. Some like myself were more reticent. I was like questioning, you know, whether I was into it or not. Parts of it I really liked. Some I felt unsure about. This right here, I have no doubt in my mind that I absolutely adore this. Yeah, it's really giving also Beyonce on the rooftop when she's singing about... What is that song where she's on the roo rooftop being crazy and... Mm. Yeah, see, she's on a rooftop. So this is also giving Beyonce. That only strengthened my point that this song is <laughs> diva. Diva from the 2000s. She is really really embodying this energy and i love it for her okay so excuse my appearance but like i was just editing the video and suddenly i was like wait a minute i only mentioned divas from the states i have been seeing recently people trying the makeup from like the 2000 but like from like k-pop slash j-pop artists and i'm like wait a minute so just to name a few you know ikyori for example iconic but also boa in her earlier days but when it comes to J-pop, the first name that popped in my mind and was like, my god, that brings back so many memories. Amuro Namie, I can kind of see you in her. It's like, maybe it's probably the big eyes, you know? Anyways, that's enough for this. Let's get back to the video. You know, some people can try to emulate a certain uh, energy, but it never really lends. She did such a good job right here. Like, this is a kind of chorus that makes me want to act up because of how good it is, you know? And yeah, when I think back on it, like, when I think... Uh, female artists, solo artists, I sometimes, most of the time, not even gonna lie, do skip over her. But I think with this concept, I'm not gonna forget about her anymore. You know, like she is really a force to be reckoned with. So I guess I could maybe consider her as being a dark horse, meaning that it's true that I don't think about her necessarily. Like she's, like I said, she's not the first name that popped into my mind, but my God, whenever she's back, she is back, baby, you know? This is really main character kind of song. Again, it's really that kind of song that when you listen to it, when you're outside, you want to strut down the street the way she is uh, walking that runway right there. She is model. Mm -hmm. And so it makes you want to act that way as well. Music can affect one's personality so much. At least for me. I know that, you know, my personality and whoever I am depends on like my mood and what kind of music I listen to. Anyway, so Heyoung is enlisting. Not to bring this back to me, but I've been a K-pop fan for quite a while. The amount of time I've become a stay-at-home wife, <laughs> I'm telling you, I am in my full Delulu annoying mode. Please bear with me. But all that to say that I have seen countless idols slash biases going to the military <laughs> every time. It doesn't get easier. Anyway, so tap, let's go. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> Why do I feel like this is? Hey, this is what sugar rush feels like. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Why is this? Oh, they should have done the whole like anime thingy. Like, no, I'm supposed to get. No, they can't go. Hey. Oh yeah, that would be such a good game like this. What just happened? <laughs> Did the sales for Tango kind of like after this or not? Because I would be buying these. I would if I could, but I live in Switzerland, so. So you know how Sugar Rush? I, I reacted to Sugar Rush by BB earlier. 
Oh, there it is. This feels like a, a dream. You know when your dreams don't really make sense? Or whatever, this felt like this. It's kind of like a uh, chaotic, a good chaotic, if that makes sense. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, that is for sure. And again, I like sticker. So make of that what you want. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of a good chaotic. I think even though I am a Virgo, I like things making sense and everything, being in order and everything. Sometimes I need this chaos being implemented in my life just to make it fun. Because oh my god, my life would be very, very boring and very flat if I didn't have these kind of music. You know those lollipop and then you kind of like coat the lollipop in rocks or whatever and you just put it in your mouth and it's just crepité, it tingles, you know? I feel like this is the kind of music that he does. It's fun, it's exciting, it's unexpected. It's kind of like, yeah, definitely chaotic. Like the chaos in your mouth when you have that lollipop in your mouth. It makes no sense. Like you're not used to these kind of things, you know? And yet strangely enough, you go and dip another coat because you're like, oh my God, that's fun, that's new, you know? He brings also this like nonsensical brain of his into his music, which is so freaking fun. A lot of time I feel like idols slash artists that are very, very art artistic have a mind that is hard to comprehend also i feel like with music videos like this and songs like this it also helps me to not rationalize everything which is something that i do quite often if you you know follow me well just in this video already i feel like i i, I probably have done this a countless amount of time but like i said i'm a virgo uh, type blood A and an INFJ. Like, you believe in that shit or not, but I feel like it makes a lot of sense. I need order in my life to feel safe, but also if I were to just go by that, it would be so freaking boring. So thank god I do have music like this from time to time to shake things up a bit and make things exciting, you know? I think with him, it's not about a question of like whether I actually like the song or not. It's like, did it make you feel good? Yes. Did it make you stop thinking for a while? Yes, then mission accomplished, you know? So next up, we've got Wendy with Wish You Hell. And I'm sure many of us thought of this reference. I wish you well. I wish you well in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic. So yeah, wish you hell, uh... English captions on this goal. What the flies? Instead of... Instead of what? What's that then? It's so sweet. Bats. Oh, that's a well-maintained church. Oh, for his, okay. She really said I don't need no man to kiss me to wake me up. Oh, I did not expect that. Just saying yeah. goodbye to her. Oh, say it. Oh, we are fortunate. Uh. And I'm happy you did, girl. Whoever has ever like been told, calm down, don't be mad. Know that that shit don't work. Crazy. Yeah. I know she looks like a freaking doll, you know, like this. I wish you help, you help, you help. I wish you help, you help, you help. Silent disco in her head, huh? <gasps> I mean, you do you, baby girl. I'm just glad you're happy. <laughs> I did not see that coming at all. We all know that Red Velvet's range is huge and does logically. Wendy's range is as huge, if not more. But out of everything that she could have done, I seriously had never really considered her doing something in more pop punk rock style. I don't know what genre you would consider this to be, but I enjoyed that. Like, the chorus is super catchy. I like the message also of this. Like, everything about this, it's not that it's unexpectedly good. It's like, I did not ex expect this style for her, but I really, really like it on her, and I think that's unexpected. It's almost like more bratty version of her, 
that comes out that is kind of like more fearless, that is like less restrained for sure. I really like it. I actually thought that at first this was going to be a song about an ex lover or something. But no, the fact that this is about her own self and leaving behind that, she says something at the beginning which is really cool. Yeah, that lovely girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Trapped inside a doll. I really like this. Like I just mentioned earlier for Highlight and Ace, for example, I don't know if it's because the longer an idol is in this industry, the more free they start to feel and become because maybe there are less expectations on her, on them. And so as a result, their music has also become more free and the, the way they express themselves through the music has become more free. I don't know if it's just like wishful thinking and if I'm just naive, like, you know, the whole idea of being trapped inside a door. I connected with the whole K-pop industry. She's been in the game for so long already that now, like I said, like it feels like she's more free and she's able to sing about stuff like this. Yeah, all these years, I was trapped in inside that doll and I was taught to do and be on my best behavior and always smile and not be mad, blah, blah, blah. Well, not anymore, you know? It feels like this to me, like it's liberating. I'm in a mood to enjoy a lot of things today, but I really enjoyed this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we've got Gravity with Love or Die. So another title with Love or Die, Love or Die by TNX. If this Love or Die is as good as the other Love or Die, not to like put one against the other, that's not where I'm going with that. It's just Love or Die is usually with a pattern. I would like to believe that this song is going to be good as well, you know, is what I'm saying. So yeah, let me just make sure. Yeah, English captions. Oh, let's go. Is this, this is new for them, right? Okay, so yeah, it has a little bit of TXT on this, I'm not gonna lie, but, oh, but I get a stronger second gen vibe from this, which, You guys, this is really good. The past few comebacks, I have, you know, watched them and everything, even though I didn't react to them. But I did check them on my own and they were nice, you know, they were nice. But you can already guess that, you know, they were in my cup of tea. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that it was 2 minutes 46. They managed to make it feel very, very full. And like I said, it does have 
a sprinkle of txt in there I feel like this kind of sound i associate with txt nowadays but even more than having sensing some txt in here what i'm sensing is more of like a second gen vibe i don't know if it's because of the song or the music video more so because the music video if you were only to show me the music video i could have sworn that this was a music video that was shot during the second gen late second generation cusp of like the third gen i don't know i can see fiction by beast I can see Tonsa by, by BAP, Be Mine by Infinite. And again, I hope you guys know that me bringing up other groups is not me saying that Gravity is like less than or like they're copying or whatever. No, this is just like my brain needs references. I actually think that the song sounds like a J-pop song. This part right here are reminding me of something that BAP could have done, maybe. I could hear Tello doing something like this or Yungu grabbing on it, you know? It's kind of like the this rap right here is almost giving Chansa, like I mentioned earlier. That kind of like settles my idea that this is very, very second gen like. This was really, really good. And like I said, even though this is less than three minutes, it felt so full that I did not even notice. This was really good. Anyways, try B. English captions are on Diamond. Oh. You know the song You Raise Me Up to that I can stand on mountain or something? This chorus kind of felt like this. I don't know what you call this genre. There is something that felt very solar. I think the reason why it got me a little bit choked up, it well, the lyrics first of all, but also, like I said, this part. <laughs> This part right here really felt like what I just mentioned earlier, like you raised me up. Like the fact that we can hear their voices in unison, it's almost like you are being injected with their good energy. <laughs> it really felt like it was an overwhelming wave of you will be okay. It really felt like receiving a... Uh, hold on. <laughs> just like a big warm hug. It always feels like, you know, in like movies or anime or whatever there is sometimes that scene where the protagonist or whatever is being embraced by his loved ones who passed and they're kind of like embracing him and like giving him uh their their blessing and supporting him etc this <laughs> felt like this it had like a very protective feeling like a very protective aura i feel yeah that was beautiful oh it's just really like that line in the way their voices come in unison right there it feels so powerful you know nice very nice okay next up we've got psychers with we don't stop and no pressure but i need them to uh mentally bring me up and build me up again because right now like, i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of like in shambles not in shambles but i'm kind of like sensitive right now i'm kind of like emotionally uh weak i need them to save me from this mental space and i believe that if there's someone right out there right now that can do this it might be them <laughs> i i have high hopes uh psychers please français non ah c'est même pas la peine 
Uh uh, I'm sorry, but like you guys know, you might, you guys might know, I'm French, right? Si vous savez pas, je suis française. Sauf que j'habite en Suisse, donc techniquement j'ai la double nationalité. J'ai été nationalisée suisse il euh, y a pas longtemps. Enfin, ici quand même, il y a un moment donné quand même. Mais bref. Um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, being that I am French, <laughs> I have such an allergic reaction. <laughs> I refuse to watch a movie, a series, or even just read the WSTFR. No. No, anything that is dubbed, forget it. I will not, I refuse. No. I do think French is a, a love, can be a lovely language. And trust me, the irony isn't lost in me because I also teach French. It's just, I get a visceral reaction if I just end up reading French. VOSTFR is a no-no for me. So yeah, English, it is for me, let's go. The colors already make me feel a lot better. Yes. Well, hold! That is exactly what I needed. <laughs> oh! Have you ever been slapped in the face before? <laughs> That's kind of like what happened right there. Wasn't there a challenge with like a running car or something? I know they're saying punch, but to me this is like slapping me in the face, like... Yeah, there's something very... Hey! Very old school about this, right? Like... Original hip-hop? No? What do I know? Yo. We don't stop me. <laughs> oh. OG hip hop. Oh my god. Is this a sample? Okay. It, oh, ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is not really what I was thinking of, but I personally got reminded of Blockby a little bit, which would make sense since technically, you know, seven season and everything, KQ. But I got reminded of Blockby because of No Joke, which is in on the Blockbuster album. Yeah. Dude, that album is so good. One of the best album 
in K-pop history, in my humble opinion. I love this song. Just, I love Bot B in general, you know, and I love ATs. And, you know, I'm slowly warming up to Psychers. Anyways, you know when I talked about like the OG hip hop vibe? Don't stop me. This is... Is this a sample or not? I'm trying to think, oh, this is gonna be a test of my future general. <sighs> Notorious Big, for example, was one of the first like OG... <sighs> Wu-Tang Clan? Ah, what am I saying? I'm scared. This kind of vibe. You know what I mean? There's something very, very OG, hip hop OG, about about this song. Even before the the outro of the song right here, which is straight up just that. But before that, it was already sprinkled in it, right? But make but this right here. So like the comment that was mentioning BAP earlier before this, I don't think I ever linked uh, Psychers to BAP, but I did link countless time uh, 80s and BAP. BAP being one of my OG, you know, favorite group ever says a lot about the lineage. I can hear. Tello on here. I can't, I can't see. I... <laughs> this is old. <laughs> Holy sh**. <laughs> Whoever left that comment, you are onto something. And they're like, why are you still giving Bobby like this? Oh my god, I love this. I really like how well balanced this song is. I thought that maybe it could have been too overwhelmingly powerful with like, you know, the scratching nose and everything. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, you know. But the fact that they go straight into this. I love it. Now, I'm not saying that this is a song that I would reach for every day because this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. This is absolutely what I needed right now to kind of like boost my energy level up and to bring me back up there but i don't need to be up there always oh, <laughs> if this were my energy level on a daily basis i would be exhausted like you know in mario kart the chorus of this feels like it would be when you get those stars and you get like this speed boost it feels like this but you don't always go at a very fast pace right this is how the song feels does that make sense to you if i say that this is like when you get those booster in Mario Kart and then once you've used the booster you know while well, you go back to a regular pace oh my god this makes so much sense to me at least I don't know I'm getting tired you guys I've been here for two hour and a half for you it's gonna feel a lot less but for me oh baby Woo. <laughs> to illustrate to you how tired I am I just changed my battery pack and on that on the way I bumped into my plant and I apologize to it. I do talk to my plant because I heard it's good. I don't think I've ever apologized to a plant before. Anyways, that's kind of like to let you know kind of the headspace that I'm in right now. So Tiro Base One, uh, this is their Japanese debut. I have seen the teaser pictures. They're absolutely gorgeous. It kind of reminded me of like Flower by Seventeen, which was also a, a Japanese comeback of theirs. Well, this right here means no. Like, watashi no. No, that is the only thing that I can recognize. Uh, well, I guess that is yura yura swing swing. Oh, so like so like bitter bitter in Korean. What is that? Thing? No. Flower of destiny. Hana. Unmei no hana. Oh hana. <gasps> Wow, wow. I mean, flower is really not that hard. You know, it's the small victories that we have to celebrate. Wait, there are no Japanese members in here, right? No. No, there aren't. Okay, well, whatever. English captions are on this guy. Oh, it was really here. I'm so dumb. This pink hair on Matthew is giving, what is it? What is Sakura? Yes, but just cotton candy. Oh. Mm. Oh, 
My heart right now is too weak for this. <laughs> you're the baby. You know, you just turned 18, didn't he? Happy birthday. Mm. Are we seeing so cute when it comes to tip one i've said this before already their songs aren't my favorite which i i wished i'm i promise you i wished i didn't say that but the thing is i have so much love for them in my heart that it almost tops well this is typical biased uh behavior right here i was about to say it almost tops the fact that i'm not really into the music it's not the case for all of their songs but it's just i wished i liked their title track more and so here again is the same pattern like i love them so much it's like i am weak when it comes to 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 them right? this song once again isn't really my cup of tea i can easily listen to it i can sing along to the lyrics like it got me singing along to it at the end you know which just speaks on how catchy the song actually is but yeah it's typically another kind of song that i would see myself reaching for i really really like the music video though it's really like romance shoujo right coded and so i love the set the atmosphere the environment and everything i love the whole like with the sakura etc that is so pretty hello spring mm -hmm. yeah isn't there a thing that's called ube yes that reminds me of i don't know i got reminded of that look oh, he mm -hmm. like everything about this like visually speaking is gorgeous it's fluffy it's cute it's sweet i just i wish i was more into the song and if it's not for me i'm sure it will be for someone else obviously i keep in mind sometimes that i could you know hurt some people's feeling when saying that i don't enjoy something or whatever but at the end of the day we all have different tastes and personal preferences and everything unfortunately that is not one of mine but if that is yours then i'm happy that you got to discover like a song that you enjoy and that you get to listen to every day and everything there are all the songs from tipe one that i really enjoy and so lucky me because if i'm not really vibing with it i can always fall back onto one of the songs that i actually enjoy you know that was a goddamn long video wasn't it <laughs> but we made it through people if you stay the whole while what are you doing <laughs> No, I appreciate it. I appreciate you if you stay the whole while. If you didn't, that is so okay. Like, I do not hold it against you, you know? I'm just happy you were here for a little while and that we got to share a little bit of time together. But yeah, I think I'm gonna log out after this. The thing is, now I have to edit this video. <laughs> Let me just thank everyone for well, watching the video, even if you didn't stay the whole while. It's okay. Thank you for being here, even just a little bit. Honestly, thank you to the patrons immensely for every time coming through voting and helping me come up with the lineup for these videos and everything, you know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, you know, it's completely free. If you'd like to have access to early videos and everything or exclusive content, then I will be seeing you over on my Patreon. Link is in the description box below. But with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so, so much for watching. And yeah, hit the subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one.